Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. What's happening? What's good? Yeah. I, you know, I would watch some other Let's Players do that and think, Oh, God. <laughs> How pedestrian that they ask, Hello, what's up, and what's good, and whatnot. Uh, and, uh, you know, the audience would literally be unable to answer... And I thought, man, why would anybody do that? Why not just say, hey, welcome? And then it slipped just then. Hello? Hello? So I guess I can't really... There? I can't re I shouldn't actually be a jerk about it like, like, I, like I was describing myself having been this entire time. Well! Who saw this coming? I thought I was going to have to find this really complicated way to get into this thingamajiggy here. Let me, uh... Oh, yeah. I thought I was going to have to work to find my way in here. Oh, that's a handy torch. Somebody lit that. This could be a way through. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Drop. To mount oh yeah, great. You know what? Great. Fucking all right. Don't give me a choice. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. I forgive you. I was, I was thinking, man, maybe I should do some exploration before I fall down here. But maybe there isn't actually anything to go find in the tutorial zone. <sighs> well, Lara, you're excellent. You're doing real well. You are. <laughs> this lady is. Breaking boundaries. What are these markings? Breaking boundaries like I probably wouldn't be able to. She even fell into a fairly wet area and did not let her torch get extinguished. That's pretty good, you know? All things considered. That's, uh, whoa. Okay, that's interesting. You uh, you found a cinematic way to not get your torch dipped. Interesting. What am I doing? What do you mean, what are you doing? You're doing the best that you can. I mean, given the circumstances, the fuck else are you going to do? You're going to just sit and whine right by your fire? Oh. Ha. <laughs> I don't think I could. Having seen this now, I don't know if I would be able to blame you for wanting to do that. Oh God, this is insane. This is a prison. Who, who exactly is singing right now? So, or is that just like implied ambient music and all that sort of stuff? What is in here? Experience. It really sounds like. There's a radio around here. Oh, is it's that a gramophone? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, do I have to hold? Yeah, I have to hold. And then it goes on fire and then disappears immediately. How physics. How thermodynamic. Man, that would be trippy. Could... could uh. Could you imagine keeping your mind together? Even if you were to just dig randomly in your backyard if you had one and you found a skull, do you think you would and like you would you be able to hold yourself together? Okay, so that's not fresh. Huh. A pry axe. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I do anything with this? A gramophone? I can't set fire to it? No? Oh, I have to... Oh, yeah. Alright, that's what I have to do. Damn! <laughs> oh, there are things to look at, apparently. This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. That's a woman? Can I... Oh, I can rotate. That's uh some slow as rotation. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Is that right? Oh, this is neat. 
This is super cool. Can I rotate faster? If I if I zoom oh he's a, Yeah, that's creepy. Look at that. This um okay, can you have a look at these at these horns? They don't look like they've stabbed anybody. Now that you have revealed to me that looking around is valuable, maybe there's stuff I need to go look at. No, I guess maybe that's kind of it, huh? Hmm. But that is really interesting. It's also it's also very uh, it's also pretty cool. It's adding legitimacy to Lara actually being an archaeologist for God's sakes. Like we were discussing in episode 1, right? You know, there was Lara was really just kind of a kind of a, a swimsuit model thrown into the into the situation of a tomb raider. But here now she's actually a person. And I like that for sure. I mean, I guess in a sense she is no less a swimsuit model, but uh I think we also covered this too in in the previous episode. Like, can she not be a normal human being? And some human beings are definitely swimsuit models. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's no point in digging too deep on this one, I don't think. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, now keep that torch lit. I don't know how you're climbing a ladder with that shit in your hand, but... Man, kudos. More power to you. Okay. Okay. We are now no longer in the murder hole, exactly. We are in the other side. Ah, and now uh, we can feel better. There, there are people. Are these friends? Be they foes? I haven't been told to hide. We're too early in the game, I think. If we had any cause to hide, we'd be told. Now, what are you going to do, Lara? Are you going to do the careful thing, the right thing? Lara, you made it. Oh, damn. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. <laughs> it's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. Damn right. You just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry. I'm Matthias, a teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himika. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds of the battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountain to the sea. <laughs> is this story that bad? Sam? Matthias? Eh. Uh. Sam? Sam! Now, don't tell me this was just a, humil uh, a hallucination. Humiliation. Jesus. Oh! No! Sam! Holy Jesus. Oh, damn it. What the f-
Ah. What do I do? Jesus. this situation I guess I'm doing it huh <laughs> oh Christ Thank you, big fat man. Oh my god. I'm so glad you're here. Is Sam with you? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You can't shoot Nico one time off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Roth? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Laura and meet up with Roth. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. He says it's been a while. You sure it's been... You gonna be okay? Never? Yes, I... Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. <sighs> he seemed uncertain, too. I don't know if I should trust this guy. Do you happen you to have? Sit, uh, you sit here. Do you happen to have uh, a first aid kit? <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. He just said that so you can get the gun, didn't he? I'm gonna look for every reason not to trust that fucker with his blonde hair and shit. Whitman, that's his name. Whitman. <laughs> Whitman. What? Hmm. Beg your pardon? Oh. A drawer? I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. I mean, ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought. That any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace. Forgotten in time. Huh. I completely, completely agree with what, um, with what has been said twice so far, that uh, every myth has some basis in truth. So I'm really wondering, you know, it, it was Himiko commanding the sun to come up around the time the sun should come up? Was that just a little too convenient? Is she perhaps little more than like a stage magician? Okay. This is Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance, shipwrecked on an island in the Dragon's Triangle. What's going east on? Of Japan. This place is incredible. I've seen wrecks here that could date back centuries. We weren't the first, and I know we're not alone. Something isn't right about this place. If I don't get off this island, maybe someone will eventually find this. Uh, I think she's underdoing it a little bit. She's been a touch modest. Uh, <laughs> this has been a very interesting experience so far. That's basically what she says. She has completely glossed over all the shit that she's had been that she's had to deal with so far. What the fuck? Fire is needed to. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay. How about um? Oh no. Can I not? Hang on. How do I? How do I take out? Uh, that's not it. Can I take out my? Nope. Diving into fire is that? No! Don't fucking dive into fire. Do you still have a torch? 
Can, do I have to use this thing? Yes. I can't use that fire. I gotta use this tiny fire, of course. Okay, I got it. I got it. Fucking game logic. What did that even accomplish? Now there's a box here. Oh, salvage. Collect salvage to upgrade weapons at base camp. Oh! Can I do that right away? Perhaps not. I haven't been taught how to do that. Okay, fine, fine, fine. In which case, I'm gonna go find these arrows. I'm full of arrows. Don't need them. I'm gonna open this chest. Uh, do I need to tap? Do I need to hold? The stronger axis needed to... Oh, oh. Oh, okay. So once I upgrade my axe... Where the fuck are you, Hoitman? I'm gonna be a little bit slow coming. Don't mind me, Mr. Hoitman. I should stop doing that. <laughs> Okay, so just about any opportunity I have to use this, uh, this bat vision. Sorry, I call it bat vision only because I'm mostly familiar with how this has been useful in the Batman Arkham trilogy. Uh, I can't help it. I don't know. I think the Batman Arkham trilogy came out way before this, this one, didn't it? The first Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum came out before this, and that sort of made... Uh, detective vision fairly popular, I think? Uh, no, I'm turned around. Okay. I have to go down this way. Follow the lanterns, probably. Uh, or maybe I can go this way. Because there's something much, uh, something of interest. Oh, oh, it's a cave. Is that right? No, there's a thing over here. I gotta look at it. Lara's having a crisis of confidence. So... For her sake, I'll keep up a happy face. What's this doing here? That something about this expedition has been making me nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. As we sail closer to the Dragon's Triangle, I'm starting to feel nauseous. And this isn't the excited kind of nerves. What the hell is wrong with me? I should be excited! This trip is going to be awesome. I just need to shake off this feeling. Maybe I can convince Lara to take a break and have a drink with me. Okay, um, I mean, yeah, I suppose it's, uh, any opportunity to relax is a good one. I don't think it's necessarily wrong to feel some kind of anxiety for a really big trip like this. I mean, how many things could go wrong? How many things have already gone wrong and you were right to be anxious? But, uh, is, I'm gonna say, oh, wait, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, wait a minute, whoa. Uh, you. No, you're not dead, shit! Ah, uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you. And another one. I got another one. Uh. Could have warned me about the wolves, Doctor. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Could have been less of a dick, too. Fucking dick doctor. Dr. Dick. <laughs> I was gonna... I was looking... Oh, yeah. This is the thing over here. Okay. Now, wait. Uh, I got 15 arrows. That's not so bad. What is that there? Is that... Um, is that my strength bar? I haven't really noticed. I haven't been looking up in that corner while I was... Thrashing for my life. <laughs> Okay, I got another one of these. Okay, maybe I'm gonna go find oh, Mr. Whitman and uh, <laughs> Dr. Dick. I think I like that better. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna maybe do that, and then I'm gonna call it because this game is just sucking the time away from me. It's fascinating. And I'm, I'm really hoping that I'm going to have the opportunity to explode. To explode. 
That's neat. Ah, and it's all deep in this forest and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. another one of these collectibles. Hey, he's talking to himself. Isn't that sweet? What's this over here? Is uh, hey, another bot. All right, all right, all right, all right. I should, I should probably call it here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. In the next episode, hey, I should look at that. That's a thing I should go look at. In the next episode, I'm gonna go look at that. I'm gonna see if I can make it there anyway. This appears to be a game that benefit that that rewards exploration. So yeah, it's totally gonna be worth it. Thank you for joining me again. Another and we'll. Shrine. Uh and 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 ah oh, shit. What? Well, fuck it. We're there. How about that? No. All right. So we're not gonna do this any longer. We're we're just gonna. I'm gonna do this. And while I'm saying thank you for joining me, we're gonna set fire to this. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, and there's another book. Got more salvage. Got another all right, all right, all right, all right. once this is done. Once this is done. Is such a drama queen. I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. Really? He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Laura doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. Damn right. I think she's a natural. That's probably going to drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. Telluride, where is that? Ah, anyway. Yeah, I mean, Whitman seems to be a camera sort of guy. He was talking to himself like he was already in front of a camera earlier. Anyway, I was saying, thank you for joining me and join me in the next episode. All that stuff. And I mean it this time. Ladies and gentlemen, feel free to explore a little bit. Maybe that'll, uh, maybe that'll freshen your life up a little bit. Exploration is good for the soul. Have a good one, folks. See you later.